thing is incredible. A lot of country you're looking for chamois, eh? Not only is Mitch a, a tar chamois and a stag guide and a commercial fisherman, but he has his pilot's license. <laughs> he flew us up here to the top of the mountain. Yeah. There's the aircraft right there. <laughs> <laughs> On the road we come up. Uh, it's good properties, cracks all around. It's not bad at the moment, but if it got any wetter, this uh, see how, yeah, this clay comes up through. Yeah, and it gets uh, quite slippery. So red clay, and we won't go any further. Good nice to see a shame over there and go after it. Would be. Damp today, but uh, came out for a look for a chamois again. Looking down into the valley we uh, hunted yesterday. Come up a uh, different valley, come up on the ridge. Not much out at all. Mitch and I were uh, riding around this morning, it's Friday morning, looking for a chamois on the hills. And uh, Mitch's quick eye spotted a gang of pigs, and uh, the shooting commenced. Uh, so we got, ended up with these two. We had a bit of a search for the black one, and uh, luckily some other hunters came by hunting the adjacent property and had some dogs, and the dogs were able to, to uh, track the pig. And uh, find it for us, but uh, so we've got two pigs. Mitch is going to eat well for the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, that'll be really good. Bit of wild pork for a change. Kiwi safaris <laughs> <laughs> in New Zealand. <laughs> All right. You never know where you, what you're going to come across. No. Nope. Well, at least uh, better than the score the other day. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we had one get away. Yeah, we needed a dog on that one too. <laughs> <laughs>